Hey guys, this is Travis Elliott, and welcome to Power Yoga Blaze number one. This class is the first of a three-part series. If you're interested in those other classes, you can find those along with all my other programs at Inner Dimension TV. Also, make sure that you click that link down below to get three free classes. And remember, hit that subscribe button and have a great practice. Welcome to Power Yoga, blaze number one. We start off in downward facing dog. Spread the hands out a little bit wider than the shoulders, feet about the width of the hips, and then just pedal out those feet. Just beginning to loosen and stretch out the back of the body, your calves and your heels. Spread those fingers nice and wide, wrap those outer shoulders back, hug your forearms in towards the middle of the mat. Take a nice big deep inhale, press back to the hips. And then on an exhale, we're just gonna walk the feet all the way forward to the top of the mat. Spread the feet out the width of the shoulders and then flat back on the inhale, extend the heart up and out. And then forward fold, exhale, drop the head. On an inhale, go ahead and rise and fly. Circle both arms all the way up to the sky, upward salute. And then forward fold like a prayer in motion, melt all the way down. Flat back on and inhale, either hands to shins or fingertips on the ground. And then step back to plank pose, upper push up position, hold there as you inhale to set. And then on the exhale, lower down with that weight forward. Cobra pose on the inhale, chest up, shoulders slide down the back. And then down dog exhale, tuck the toes. Lift the hips, come back to the breath. Nice, steady, even breathing. Nice, steady, even mind. Let's take that right leg, lift it up. Scorpion leg, bend the right knee. Stretch open through the right hip. Allow the area of the hip to just have a nice big yawn. Good, from here release the right foot back down. Same thing on the other side, flip that left leg up, open up that left hip, bend that left knee. And allow your right heel to draw heavily down towards the ground. And then left foot floats back down onto the ground, downward facing dog, inner hand strong, take an inhale, press back. And on an exhale, go ahead and walk or jump top of the mat. Flat back on the inhale, heart elongates out. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Circle those arms up to the sky on the inhale. And then forward fold on the exhale. Flat back on the inhale. And then step or jump back. And then lower down, same out breath. Cobra on the inhale as we blaze our path. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Good, as you continue to breathe deep, take the right hand, reach it over and grab the outer edge of your left calf, ankle or foot, coming into a one arm, downward facing dog. Beautiful, right hand back to the top of the mat, same thing on the other side, left hand reaches over, grab the outer edge of that right leg in those moments of adversity. Keeping that breath steady, keeping that mind in a state of equanimity. And then left hand back, top of the mat, find your form. Take another inhale, press back, sink in. And then exhale, walk or jump, both feet forward again. Flat back on the inhale, create space. Forward fold with grace. On the inhale, root to rise, grow long, get tall. And on the exhale, forward fold all the way down low. Flat back on the inhale, step or jump back, and then lower down with strength, exhale. Cobra on the inhale, it's a back massage. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Good, now moving on, shift forward to a plank pose. So upper push-up position, bring the feet together side by side. Spin onto the outer edge of the right foot. Stack the left foot on top. 
as you reach your left arm all the way up to the sky. Press strong into that right hand. Spread those arms wide like wings. Start to open up that left chest as you inhale and then extend it forward and out as you exhale, creating that stretch across the whole entire left side of the torso. Left arm back up on the inhale. Set it down to plank pose on the exhale. Same thing other side, feet together. Spin onto the outer edge of your left foot. Take that right arm, reach it all the way up. And make sure you're driving, you're cementing down into that left hand, left palm. Open up that right chest, inhale. Extend it forward and out on the exhale. Remember, keep that breath steady, fluid, and smooth. Beautiful, right arm up, inhale. Set it down on the exhale. Take one inhale, set, plank. And then exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Cobra or upward dog on the inhale. Spread the chest and exhale back. Downward facing dog, inhale, press back. And then exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Flat back on the inhale, heart out. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees. Squat deep, chair pose. Take those arms, reach those all the way up. As you begin to activate those muscles in the lower body, the glutes, the thighs, the quads. As those arms reach up, soften those shoulders back and down. Take a good by inhale chair. And forward fold on the exhale. Flat back on the inhale. Step or jump back. And lower down, vinyasa, out breath. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. And then exhale, right knee, right tricep, hold there. Swing the right knee, left arm, inhale. Swing it to the right arm, exhale. Press the right leg back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale, to a lunge. Good, driving down into that right heel, rise up, crescent pose. Take both arms all the way up to the sky. So make sure you're bending your right knee right above your right heel. Press back long and strong through that back left leg. Take an inhale, reach up, maybe lean back and look up. And then exhale, vinyasa. So lower all the way down, same exhale with control. Inhale, shoulders roll. Exhale, down dog, second side. Left leg up, inhale. Left knee, left tricep, to exhale. Swing right arm, inhale. Swing left arm, exhale. Pull back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Take a moment, to establish that foundation. And then go ahead and rise up. Crescent pose on the other side. Breathe. Come into the climax. Take one last inhale, find that full expression. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower down, good form, keeping those elbows in. Inhale, sweep, backward bend. And exhale, you got it, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, stretch back. And then exhale, walk or fly, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees. One inhale to chair, on the inhale, arms up. And then forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back, inhale, pull it deep and low. Step or jump back, lower down as we flow. Inhale, blaze number one. Exhale back, down dog. Right leg up, inhale. Right arm, exhale. Swing left arm, inhale. Swing right arm, exhale. Pull back, inhale. Flow it deep, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, rise all the way up. And then hands to prayer position in front of the chest. From here, prayer twist. Take that left elbow, bring it all the way to the outer right knee, right thigh. Good, drive down through that left elbow, left tricep. Press back long and strong through that left leg. If you wanna go deeper, you can even drop your left hand down on the floor on the outside of that right foot and reach that right arm 
all the way up to the sky. And from here, back to crescent pose. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, warrior two. So left arm back, right arm forward. Line your front right heel up with your back inner left arch. Find your breath. Find that steady gaze. Good. From here, left hand is going to reach forward, grab the right wrist. And then reverse warrior. Come all the way back. That little hand grip. Make sure you're continuing to bend that right knee right above that right heel. And then breathe into your right ribs. Breathe into your right lung. Take a good bye inhale. And then back to your warrior two. From here, right hand's gonna come down either onto a block or the floor on the outside of that right foot. Side angle pose. Stack both arms right on top of each other so you create this vertical column or line of energy. Take one last inhale, side angle, and then go ahead and straighten your right knee, right leg, triangle pose. If you want, you can take the right hand, place it on top of the right shin. Otherwise, keeping that right hand on the block or on the ground. Now from here, take your top left hand, reach it all the way around behind the back, and then we'll come into a wrap. So you can grab onto that inner right leg, right thigh. Roll that left chest open and feel that stretch where your inner left chest and your inner left shoulder comes together. Beautiful. From here, left arm back up to the sky, triangle pose on the inhale. And then re-bend that right knee, side angle pose on the exhale. Take an inhale, open up that left chest. And on the exhale, place the left hand down, spin onto the back left toes, runner's lunge. Now make sure you're not on a tight rope. So you may want to scoot the right foot a little bit over to the right. And then we're going to lean into the left hand. We're going to reach the right arm to the sky coming to a twist, facing over towards the right. Now hug and lock in through your inner legs, your inner thighs, and then open up that right chest on the inhale, and then extend it forward and out on the exhale as you separate your left heel away from your right fingertips. Give that one last little reach. Right arm to the sky. Now check this out. Press down strong into the lower body and then rise all the way up to a lunging spread arm twist. So keep the right thigh descending, keep the chest lifting, and then roll that right chest open as you engage those side abdominals, the obliques. Beautiful, from here, turn forward, inhale, crescent, arms up, and then exhale, lower down, vinyasa. Cobra, up dog, on the inhale. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Left leg up, inhale. Left knee, left tricep, exhale. Swing right, inhale. Swing left, exhale. Extend back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Crescent pose on the inhale, float up. And then hands to prayer position in front of the heart. Take that right elbow. Outer left knee, left eye. Lunging prayer twist facing over towards the left. Reach your heart out away from the lower back so you're long in that spine. If you want to go deeper, drop your right hand down. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Good. Come back up to crescent pose. On the inhale, a little bit of balance. And then warrior two, turn the corner. Right arm back. Left arm forward for that beautiful symmetry within the body. And feel that coalescence, your breath, your body, your mind, all working with each other instead of against each other. Right hand reaches forward, grab the left wrist, reverse that warrior, just come gliding back as you breathe into where you feel the stretch taking place. One more inhale, deepen that. Back to warrior two. Left hand down, outside of left foot onto the block or all the way down into the ground. Side angle pose, Parjvo Konasana. 
Seal firm through the outer blade of that outer right foot. Lift up through that inner right arch. Take one last inhale there. Triangle pose on the exhale. So feel that stretch across the back of that left leg. And then here's where we'll take that top right hand. You can reach it all the way around behind the back. Grab that inner left leg, left thigh, or just do whatever you can do. All good. Work with where you're at right now in your practice. And then breathe into what you're feeling. Back to standard triangle on the inhale, right arm up. Side angle, bend the left knee as you exhale. Take one inhale, open up that right chest. And then on the exhale, right hand comes down, pivot onto the back right toes, scoot that left foot a little to the left. And then locking through those inner thighs, lean into the right hand, take that left arm, and reach it all the way to the sky, press down into the right, pull up through that left hand, open up that left chest, and then extend that left arm forward and out. And then left arm comes back up to the sky, drive down into that left heel, and with levity, float all the way up. Spread arm lunging twist. Pretty intense. Make sure that you breathe through the intensity. Keep that breath steady. Keep that mind calm and serene. Crescent pose on the inhale. And then vinyasa, let's get out of there. And lower down smooth. Inhale like you're surfing the waves of your breath. And exhale back. Downward facing dog. Take a big inhale through your nose. And then out the mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Side out. Take an inhale. Press back to the hips. And then exhale. Walk or jump. Both feet top of the mat. Flat back on the inhale. Forward fold on the exhale. We'll spread the feet out. Shoulder width apart. Lift up your toes, slide your hands underneath the bottoms and soles of your feet. Standing on those hands, take an inhale, pull the heart up and out. And then exhale, fold in. Enjoy a few breaths there. Release the hands from underneath the bottoms of the feet. Make sure that your feet are still the width of the shoulders, maybe even a little bit wider. From here, you're gonna bend your knees so your thighs are parallel to the ground. And then you're gonna reach both arms straight behind you. Kind of like a skier about to go flying downhill. So your torso and your thighs are parallel to the ground. Keeping your torso as is, Finding a focal point on the ground beneath the eyes, go ahead and reach both arms straight out in front of you. So hips back, thumbs to the sky, fingers wide, breath in that flow. Now from here, keeping those knees bent exactly as is. See how high you can lift your chest and your torso without straightening your legs or your knees a micromillimeter. When the heat is on, can that mind still remain calm? Good, now come onto the tips of the toes, keep the knees bent, float those heels off the ground, challenging those legs, challenging the calf muscles. Staying on the tips of the toes, stand all the way up as you root down through the toes and you lift all the way up through the arms, the hands, the fingertips. Take one last goodbye inhale there and then heels down, right arm down on the exhale. Take an inhale, reach up to that left arm and then side bend to the right on the exhale. Bring that right arm back up overhead on the inhale, and then left arm down, exhale. Take an inhale, reach up to the right, and then side bend all the way over to the left. And then left arm all the way up on the inhale, and then forward fold, just a meditative athletic flow. Flat back on the inhale. Step back to plank pose, pause there, upper push up, setting up five yogi style push ups. Inhale, drop down, chaturanga. Exhale, push up, plank. Four more. Inhale, down. Exhale, two. 
Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, last one, exhale five. Hold for the inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Let's flow, warrior dance. Right leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. Extended side angle, exhale. Back to reverse on the inhale. And then vinyasa, lower all the way down on the exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse to warrior, inhale. Extend this side angle, exhale. Back up to reverse, inhale. And then cartwheel lower all the way down. On the exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, one more round. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot deep. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend this side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa. Just riding that breath. Inhale, heart to the sky. Exhale, last side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, flow through. Inhale up, steady and smooth. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, reach it forward. Inhale, back up to reverse. And then exhale, you got it. Vinyasa, all the way down, out breath. Huge inhale, fill up those lungs. Exhale, down dog. Hold there, big inhale through the nose. And then out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, with that sweat starting to flow, take an inhale, press back. And then exhale, walk or jump. Top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Spread the feet out the width of the mat, toes out, heels in. Yoga squat. So bend those knees, take a seat. Both hands to prayer position in front of the chest. Press the palms together. The elbows press the knees out. Pull your chest up, slightly tilt that chin down so your neck is long. And just keeping that mind dialed into that breath and everything outside of that fades away. Good, if you wanna move on, we'll take that left arm inside of that left leg. So you're reaching out at a diagonal. Take that right arm, reach it up to the sky. You can stay there, or if you want, you can take that left arm, reach it around that left shin, come into a wrap. So right hand reaches all the way around, and then you just grab whatever you can get. Your fingertips, your wrist, or maybe you just do a half bind. Again, deeper isn't necessarily better. So you do what works for you and your body, wherever you're at, breathe. That's it, left arm down, right arm up on the inhale. Same thing other side on the exhale. So right arm down, left arm up to the sky. Left hand reaches all the way around behind the back. An option if you want to come into that wrap, to come into that bind on the other side. Peel that left chest open as so we cultivate a body that's both strong and flexible. Because when you're all strength and no flexibility, you break. But when you're all flexibility and no strength, you get uprooted. When you find the combination, the synergy of both, then you found true power. Right arm down, left arm up, inhale. Set the left hand down on the exhale. Pro pose, come up onto the tips of your toes. Go ahead and climb aboard, both knees. High up your triceps, your arms. Start to shift that weight forward, and then maybe you lift one or both feet all the way off the ground. So a little strength, a little bit of balance. Take one last inhale, crow, chaturanga. Shoot the feet back, upward dog. Inhale, chest up, and then down dog. Hips to the sky. 
Nice, you guys. This should feel good. Right leg up, inhale. Pigeon pose on the exhale. So swing your right leg all the way forward. Slide your left knee back. And then begin to fold out over top. That right leg, right shin. Just allowing your right hip to get a nice deep stretch. Slow the breath back down. Slow the heart rate back down. Take advantage of the warmth that you've created within your body. Good, come all the way back up onto the hands. From here, we're gonna bend the back left foot in. Reach back with your right hand and grab your left foot. Draw your left foot in and give that left quadricep a nice, deep, sensuous stretch. One last little squeeze and then right hand down, tuck the left toes under. Bring your right leg all the way up and back, three-legged dog. Open up that right hip, bend that right knee. And then let that right foot fall gently onto the ground behind you, flipping the dog. Belly up, right arm reaching, all the way forward and out. Take one last inhale there. And the right hand comes back to the mat. Right foot rolls back around. Downward facing dog. And then left leg up on the inhale. And then pigeon on the other side. So left leg all the way forward, slide that right knee, right leg back. And now as you're ready, you should feel good to just let that torso drape out over top that left leg. Crawl all the way back up onto the hands. Bend that back right foot in, reach back with that left hand, grab that right foot, draw it in. Give it one last little squeeze. And then right foot comes down, tuck the right toes underneath, lift the right knee up. Left leg comes up and back, three-legged dog. Open up that left hip, bend that left knee. Flip that dog upside down as you reach left arm forward and out. So here we have a little arm balance, a little back bend. So really lift your navel to the sky. Good, left hand back down to the mat. Left foot returns to the floor to our last down dog. Take an inhale, stretch back. Relax the knees to the mat. Crawl the knees forward, cross the feet behind you. Release onto the sit bones. And then from here, open the hands out wider than the mat. Bring the knees together. Lift the legs up. Leg lifts. Inhale, heels down. Exhale, legs up. Four more. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Hold there. And then boat pose. So reach those arms forward, bring the hands together, interlace all the fingers but the indexes, and then we're gonna twist all the way over to the right. Steady breath, steady mind. Twist it all the way over to the other side. Steady eyes, breathe. Come down the middle, spread the hands out. Take one last inhale, boat, and then exhale, release all the way down onto the ground. Good, grab those shins, hug those knees in. Give a little squeeze. And then heels come down to the ground. Reach the fingertips forward, touch the backs of the heels, bridge pose. Go ahead and lift your belly up. Tuck the shoulders underneath and in. You can interlace the fingers. Grab the ankles, the heels, whatever feels right. Breathe down into the belly. You can stay here and bridge or option if you want. Upward bow, hands back by the ears, fingers forward. Get a good grip. 
And as you're ready, just pressing all the way up to what we call Urdhva Dhanurasana, the upward bow. Spiral those inner thighs towards each other. Last couple breaths, either bridge or your upward bow. Goodbye, inhale there. And then exhale, lower all the way back down onto the ground. Nice, grab the shins, pull the knees in, keep the right knee in, extend the left leg forward. Open the right arm to the right. Take the left knee all the way over to the right. Twist, stretching out that lower back. And right knee all the way back up to middle. Squeeze both knees back in. Extend that right leg out. Open the left arm to the left. Take the left knee and let it drape all the way over to the right. And then left knee back up to middle. From here, grab the shin, squeeze the knees in. Take a goodbye inhale. And then Shavasana. Release all the way down to the back. Relaxing every muscle in the body. Letting the breath find its own natural effortless rhythm. So we take these last moments of stillness. Nice and easily bring the awareness back into the body. Draw the knees back into the belly. Squeeze it in. Do a little gentle rock and roll up to seated. And we'll seal the practice by bringing the hands to prayer position, back to the thumbs, to the center of the forehead. Honoring the blaze of light inside the mind. Hands down to prayer position in front of the chest. Honoring the blaze of light within our hearts, stronger and brighter than a thousand suns. Namaste.